Hello YouTubers, I got a 2000 FT50 here. It's a common problem, I've seen a lot of videos on it where uh, this shaft right here, your uh, U-joints, your half shaft and your other shaft that goes into the front four wheel drive diff housing. But you notice like it doesn't, mine moves like very very little and a lot of people's on there have a lot of play and it'll actually cause the top of the ball joint bolt here to be wore down if your hubs stay locked in which is a problem on some of the of these uh, Ford trucks the uh, the hubs go out and people don't maintenance them correctly and they uh, they break and they're plastic inside and plastic parts so anyway those get locked and it causes this to rotate all the time which I'm guessing ruins the needle bearings inside and your shaft your uh, CV sh or a half shaft, spindle shaft, whatever you want to call it. But if you get you a set of worn hubs, you don't have to worry about them being locked in or not locked in when you don't want them to be. Here's the shaft I pulled out. Everybody in YouTube always shows the uh, the whole thing in there in the truck moving, but no one ever takes a shaft out and shows you. So this whole part right here right here should be smooth and if I can get the camera to focus you can see that there's grooves on each end and the middle part where the needle bearings have actually worn it down because they they went bad and they weren't round anymore so I guess it cut the shaft I guess but if your needle bearings go bad this is where you'll get all that slop plus it'll make your knuckle seal go bad or vacuum seal or whatever it is it will make uh, that also flop around because it does semi support it in there but the the weight of the shaft uh, goes you know needle, needle bearings pick that up but if either of those go bad that's where you get all that slop from so you have to buy a new shaft new needle bearing have it pressed in your existing uh, wheel bearing hub on the back side and uh, she'll be quiet and she won't be rattling when you go over bumps every time you hit one all right just uh it's my first shot at making a YouTube video, so uh, let me know how I did. Thank you.